So, I will put this out one time and one time early because I'm not dealing with this crap anymore. Anymore. I'm not. I want to apologize publicly to Fiona Robertson for my comments I sent to her. If she takes them or leave them, that's fine. I don't care about the drama that went on or anything like that or how it happened. Now, I will say this. Steiser is in completely in the wrong for his racial comment. I don't care if people use the excuse that he's part black. I don't care about that excuse, okay? The fact is, he called Veckel a house nigger. And it, I, he's over the UK, so he quite doesn't understand the connotation to that comment quite as well as Americans would. When you call a black man a house nigger, it means that they are going to obey the white man, that they are a slave to the white man, and they are doing nothing but trying to appease the white man, and I know Veckel long enough to know that is not true. Okay, so Steiser is in the wrong for that. That was the only reason I put that comment, but everyone has to go pick it apart, turn it into something it's not, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. It's done. I'm washing my hands clean of this, and if you don't take it as an apology, fine. I don't care. I've apologized to her in private and all this, but Fiona doesn't want to forgive. Instead, she wants to continue on with the stupid-ass, dumb drama, which I am too old to deal with, okay? I am an adult here. I don't need to deal with this high school dumb crap, okay? It's stupid. It's completely and utterly stupid, okay? I retake my comments back what I said to Fiona, but that does not mean that they don't apply to Steiser. Now, I will say I will not take the I have a dream speech down because that is what I was trying to say is black people and white people should come together hand in hand loving each other making peace with each other instead of fighting over stupid freaking crap that's what you adults are doing. You're fighting over stupid crap. And then you wonder why people get mad over this. It's drama, drama, drama. Grow up. And yes, I'm probably going to get a bunch of comments over it, but I'm not going to look at them because it's pointless. Because you guys have made your decision about me. You made your decision that I'm this evil, vicious human being that's trying to harm people all around. So go think that way about me, but I know it's not true. My husband knows it's not true. God knows it's not true. And those opinions are the only opinions that ever truly matter to me. So Fiona, one last time, I apologize for what I said. But that comment was completely and utterly racist toward Veckel, and I will defend him over that. I don't care what was being discussed. I don't care if it's about some freaking baker, whatever. I don't care, okay? I don't care what was discussed. What I cared about is him being called a house nigger, okay? That's what I care about because I find it extremely, extremely offensive to call that to someone. Especially someone who tries to have as much peace as possible among the races. I think it's absolutely stupid, this racism crap that's going on. Absolutely stupid. I mean, you're looking at some person's skin color and like, oh, oh, house nigger, house nigger. Oh, he worships the white man. That's freaking racist on white people, too, Steiser. So you're racist for yourself altogether in the spectrum. How dare you? And how dare you, all of you guys, jumping on my case for defending someone? 
have a right to defend someone, okay? But you know what? I'm not going to do it anymore. You guys can go live in your little drama-filled world, okay? I don't want it. I don't want it because my life is a lot richer, a lot better without it. And Fiona, I will say this. It's done. Since you didn't want to reason with me, since you did not want to actually listen to what I said, you just wanted to cast your fingers, go back to the same thing over and over again. It's done. It's done. I have no problem cutting people out that are poison in my life. I have no problem with it. And this is the last time I will ever, ever, ever talk about this again with anyone because frankly it was toward Fiona and Steiser it had nothing to do with any one of you guys but I was wrong about Fiona okay I was wrong about that I can admit that okay I can admit when I'm wrong but I'm not wrong when I say that was an incredibly racist and hurtful comment that he had to say toward Beckel and I'm not going to apologize for that. I was wrong about Fiona. I listened to some misinformation and I got emotional because it's one of my buttons is when it comes to race. It's one of my buttons. But certainly, certainly, if anything, how you guys treated me makes you no different than what I just said. It makes you no different because you went on my case, too. You went on my case. You know, so seriously, why should I have anything to do with anyone who doesn't ever want to clearly listen to me? Like, why would you want to say that? Can you please explain yourself a little bit more would have been a little bit better than jumping on my case. But no, you wanted to jump on my case. And Fiona still wants to jump on my case. That's all I can do to rectify the situation. There's nothing else. I'll leave it to your decision if you want to forgive me or not. But at least I can humble myself and say I was wrong about the situation. And I, I will say this one thing. Why are you guys wasting your life with this needless drama? It's doing nothing but putting endless stress on you and hurting you and harming you and harming others. Why? It's pointless to do that. It's pointless. It's vain. It's stupid. It's immature. You know, we're adults here. We should be acting like adults, not acting like freaking middle schoolers or teenagers. But you, but you continue to act like middle schoolers and teenagers. He said this about me. He said this about me. He said this about me. My God, people. My God. There is more to life than your feelings. You know, I have to constantly remind myself there's more to life than my own feelings, okay? You're dealing with someone who has borderline personality disorder. You think that's easy to deal with, knowing that you'll always have these heightened emotions that it takes a long time for you to calm down and level? Do you think that's easy to deal with? I have to have coping strategy, freaking coping strategies, in order to deal with my emotions. And and you guys, you just let your emotions free and you say whatever you want and then you expect no no backlash over that. But I say something. I say something when I'm trying to defend someone, but I get the backlash. I get the backlash while Steiser is hiding in his little corner giggling that everything is fucking focused on me and not him when he's the bad guy, when he's the racist.
And I don't care if he's a mixed breed or whatever. I don't care if he's mixed. Black or white, whatever. Calling someone that is a horrible thing to call someone. Especially to an American. A, especially to a black American. It's one of the worst things you could talk, call a black man. One of the worst things. But no, I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. Right? What a joke. What a freaking joke this whole situation is. I'm done with this situation. I'm just keeping this up for two days so people can watch it and then I'm taking it down. Two days I'm keeping this video up. Just so people can get it to the clear that I did apologize to Fiona. Even though she doesn't want to take my Fiona, I, I apologized to her in private. I went to her in private, actually. I went to her in private. To apologize. But she didn't want to take my apology because she wanted to deal with all these other avenues that had nothing to do with the situation that I was in. My problem was was the common house nigger. That's all. It didn't have anything to deal with all the other conversation. But people don't want to take that, do they? I was wrong about Fiona, and I apologize. But I'm certainly not wrong for calling that statement racist. And I hold it. I will put my foot down over this. What Steiser said was wrong. And you're pointing fingers at me when you should be pointing them at the person who is actually in the wrong. I was mistaken. But my intentions was a good intention, okay? What is the point? What is the freaking point of even making this video? There is no point. You guys are going to live in your own delusions thinking I'm a horrible person. Who cares anymore? Everyone thinks I'm a horrible person. Everyone thinks I'm a horrible person. <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe I am a horrible person. But I was trying to do good. I was trying to do good. <laughs> and I get nothing but hate for it.